Hi guys, Yolanda. So let's continue with the bluebells and buttercups. On to the next page. Um, this one has the pocket. It has the flap with these little pop-outs. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. So you'll need two strips, right, from your strips. <laughs> and um, you are going to cut them down to 3 inches by 12. So you don't cut the length, you just cut 3 inches. So this one is already 3 inches actually. <laughs> so this one I'm going to have to cut it down. Uh, let me just, I want to get it straight. Let me just use this guy. Right here. Yep. So that's also now three inches. Let's put that away. And then, uh, where's my other little piece? Here is another piece up from the strips. And I'm going to cut it three inches long. Okay. And I'm going to cut two, uh, well, you actually need four pieces uh, for the flaps. Again, let me use this one. And you're going to cut it by one inch, yes? Uh-oh. There we go. One inch. And I think we can get another inch out of here. Okay, and you're going to need two more of these. So, three inches and two strips of one inch. And another one. There we go. These one inch strips, I'm going to use my small one. And you're going to go half an inch. Yes. All of them. Because these are the babies we attach to the little pop out strips. Okay, and let me quickly do this. It should be the other way, the good side, <laughs> not this way. Now, these two strips, I'm going to use a big one for this, you are going to, yeah, at three, at six, and at nine. You can put lots of small photographs there. Okay. Three, six, nine. And let's put that aside. And we may as well start constructing these together. I just got to remember which way they go. Yeah. So the first one is down. And backwards and forward. So that should be once we stick it on like that. Now you can take these little strips, okay, and you're going to glue it. Now, 
two sheets. I haven't counted how many we use, but it's, you know, you know mini albums you always use a lot. So this one you're going to cut eight and a quarter by nine inches. Eight and a quarter by nine. And this one you are going to cut eight inches by nine and a quarter. So eight inches. by nine and a quarter. Have I done that right for the pocket? No, I haven't done it right, man. Let me just double check. <sighs> ah, I think I have done it right. No, I haven't. How did I put this here? Guys, don't cut it like that. Oh, you are gonna cut it. Now I've just wasted some paper. It is, it's nine and a quarter by eight. Oh, because I put put it the wrong way. It's right, it's right. Panic over. <laughs> okay, so this one is for the pocket. The big pocket. And you're going to go the longer side, obviously. You are going to score. Yeah, it's nine and a quarter, that's right. And score, and of course you want the bottom piece too. And you're going to do the usual. That's my page. This we can actually glue on. I really like to score these well, you know, it just gives more flexibility in the journal itself. I mean journal, there I go again, see, journal. So that will go there. And you're just gonna put a small strip at the top. So let's glue this down. Of design paper, you know, or even washi tape, depends on your washi tape. If you have washi tape ma matching your paper. Let's put that on nicely there. Make sure it's all square here. And then we can go ahead and glue that. So there we have a low pocket. Now this one is going to go, I think, yeah, that's my pocket. I've cut this too big. Nine inches. How did that work out? That's not eight and a quarter. That is six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Six 
six and a quarter, not eight and a quarter. Um, yeah. That's better. Score again. And then we are going to score at seven and a half. Yes, seven and a half. Just to make a little pocket there. And we're not going to glue it down quite yet, but we are going to do this. Okay. I mean, the pocket we're not going to glue down. But we can glue the top. So, again, we're just going to eyeball it there. And where's a pin just to keep this down? Let me also fold it the other way, just makes it fold better. There we go. Let's just put it down so it's out the way. This can go straight on top. thinking no we're actually not going to glue this down I'll tell you why because the design paper so let's just wipe that silly me so for the moment where's my talc because I don't want it to stick so that's also quite a simple easy oh always make a mess when I do this simple easy page not difficult and that will go there <clears throat> do not stick <laughs> and then these guys once we've put down all the paper you will do like so, see? You would glue the top one first and then the bottom one and then this one will come in here. See that? So when you open it, more or less, I mean the bottom is not glued, then you get your little pop out there. Which is really, I, I, I like it. I like it. So again, I'm just going to clip these in place so they don't get lost because and then you don't know where they go when it comes to putting your paper in and of course we still have to do this the uh, I was going to say sequence <laughs> magnets okay so there's another page um, guys and I'll be back for more ciao now Stay with me. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand and I can't do it without you. So help me reach a thousand ladybugs so I can do a really nice giveaway which is, will be open internationally.